not going to happen, but we can sure talk about it. Why don't you just drop the gun and give up? <laughs> well, to, to the yellow jack, I guess. That alcoholism okay. is slowly killing me. Oh man, I am broke as shit. <laughs> Genuinely, Wrigley Ballsack is broke as a motherfucker. Um. Okay. Um. Well. I need to make money somehow. Stand on the train track's not a good idea. Um. I don't want to get a job. Jobs for losers. I got a criminal record. They won't accept me a job. How am I going to make money? I'm going to steal some cars and try and sell them on. Just casually jaywalk right there. Right, I need a good card to sell. Not that. Definitely not that. Just casually some firemen. Do they have any nice cars around back for me to steal? Nope. God damn it. I need I need a car. A good car. If it's a good enough car, I could use it to rob the 24-7 and then sell it on. That might be an idea. You know what? I will settle for an Emperor, and I'm going to cruise the hood and look for some more cars to steal. Oh, door's open. And the key's in the ignition, apparently. Right, I need a decent car. A good car to steal. Of course, if I get pulled over, I am pretty much have to run, talk of which, there's a cop right there. So there's cops on the server. <laughs> Let me check Yellowjack, see if there's anything in Yellowjack worth stealing. That cop was on the prowl then. Ooh, a jeep. That could be decent. Steal a jeep, and uh... Oh, shit! I need to get rid of this car somehow. Ha! Oh, another car with the keys left in the ignition. What are the chances of that? And this actually is a fairly decent car. Okay, so at the moment I am searching for a uh, sieve to sell this to. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, who? I don't know. I do need some gas, actually. I'm going to fill it up, be a nice person, before I sell this car on. Just fill it up with some gas. There you go. And get out the passenger side, because obviously, why not? <laughs> GTA logic, man. Gotta love it. Alright, just fill this puppy up, and then go surfing for some sieves. Hey, that's good. <laughs> Wildlife is on. Alright, let's see if we can sell this car on. It's actually going to be really tough. I don't know how we're going to do this. Um, that's actually a good question. Because the problem is that whoever buys it can't store it. <laughs> so, they're going to have to buy it for the day, maybe commit some crimes. Ooh, that's how I could sell it. Since they can't keep it forever. No, I type fix, not shuffle, that's good. Since they can't keep it forever, maybe maybe sell it as a getaway car? Huh. That's an idea. Sell it as a getaway car. And tell them it's untraceable, because it's not registered. I had a friend at the DMV a minute ago uh, remove all trace of it from the system. And, uh... I hope that dude's trust trustworthy. This guy I met in school, he was like, yeah, I can wipe plates for you, so I'd give him a text. Hopefully he doesn't report it's stolen, knowing my luck. But either way, yeah, I'm going to sell it as a, um, a getaway car. Is that a sieve over there? Ooh! Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, dude. Well, he didn't seem interested in insurance. That is a sieve right there.
try and sell it as a getaway car. <laughs> Hey man, what's up? Hey, how's it going, man? Eh, not too bad. You, uh, you interested in buying a car that's completely untraceable? Uh, no, actually, I'm not. I'm pretty good on cars right now. I appreciate the off. You sure? It's pretty quick and it's almost as tough as this thing. Oh, I don't know. I think the, the cop Bearcats, uh, don't quite match up to this, but. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, if you do change your mind, uh, hit me up on 37358. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. Uh, have a good one, my friend. Shit, have that's a, a cop right there. Fuck, dude. I need to get the fuck out of here. Totally legit. <laughs> I'm not sticking around while that cop's there. Uh-uh, not happening. Let's AI the shit out of this. Ooh, there he is. This is very much cat and mouse now. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that someone reported it stolen, someone saw me if it's... if that cop's prowling the Yellowjack, because that's not a common thing to do. In fact, that's actually quite scary. Fucking booked it out of there. Full in reverse. Just meow. Spin the wheel. Bit of a J turn going on. I just wanna. I need to find some sieves, man. Where can I find a sieve to? Let me pull over and have a look how many are on. All that money I spent on those cars before they wiped the server, I kind of wish I had that again. Like, seriously. I'm 655 bucks in debt in my bank account. And if I put money in there, then it's just... It's going to take 650 bucks, which I can't afford to spare off me for nothing. I don't even know why I'm negative. I can't remember. I must have paid something. But either way, that, that kind of fucking sucks. Right, Sibs, where are you? I know you'll be around here somewhere. That was Scott in the big green truck. He's wildlife. Kind of knew he wouldn't want to buy an untraceable truck. I just hope he hasn't snitched on me, because snitches get stitches. Ooh, there's a cop. Just be completely legit about this. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If if I get caught, I'm gonna run like fuck. I'm not stopping until the car literally dies. Like, genuinely, there's... I, I'm, there's no way I can afford to get arrested right now. Why am I going this way? That's a cop. The cop's that way. Oh, shit. Uh-uh. He knows, man. He's gotta know. I need to go on 68. The problem is, the places where the sieves frequent also happen to be the places where the cops go. You know what I might do? I'm gonna advertise. Yes, that is how you bring in the mega bucks. Um. Huh. Oop. I hit that rock. Well, there goes the whole mint condition thing out the ad, <laughs> since I hit that rock. Right, okay, we're going to do slash ad social. Anyone want to buy an untraceable? Um, Jeep, hit me up. Three, seven, three, five, eight. I hope that's still my number. I haven't checked that. Yes! He went through. No! 11738. That's changed. Okay. Slash add social. Shit, what was it? 
11738. Correction, 11738. There you go. Right, hopefully we'll get some messages through. I didn't even think of checking that. My number's changed. Fuck. Um, it's annoying how I'm limited to like a hundred characters. Because otherwise it cuts the message off. I'm going to fix it real quick. It needs to be in good condition. Like, come on. So it's... Oh, that's glitched. <laughs> nope. Uh, that was weird. I think I found a glitch there. Mechanic repaired your vehicle. I'm also going to set the dirt level to zero. He has a jet wash there. Cop. No, 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 no. Shit. Let's see what he wants. I should have put tint on it. I really should have. Um... Window, a crack. This is bad. What just get hit up now? Yeah, I'll buy that truck. It's like, give me a minute, dude. Fuck. This is bad. This is real bad. No, 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 no. Right, negotiation skills. Just so I can hear him. Can I help you? Put your hands up. Um, sure. What's this about, All officer? Alright, with your left hand, with your left hand, reach outside and open up your door. Step out slowly, facing away from me. Uh, what's this about, man? Just do what I say. I'll explain everything to you in a little bit. You know, I, I'm running late for a business meeting. Can we do this later? No, we're gonna do this now. Step out of the vehicle. Um, why? Sir, I'm giving you a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. Yeah, I know. I can hear that, but I want to know why. Everything will be explained to you in a minute. I mean, can't you just explain it now? No, sir. You need to step out of the vehicle. I mean... That's not gonna happen, but... We can sure talk about it. Why don't you just drop the gun... And give up? <laughs> if you don't step out of the vehicle, I'm gonna force you out of the vehicle. I mean, that's not very nice. I mean, I just bought this car. It's nice and new. Okay, understandable. Well, just do me a favor, step out of the vehicle, and I'll explain explain everything to you, alright? I would still quite like to know the reason. Step out of the vehicle, and everything will be explained to you. Shit. The faster we get this done, the sooner you'll be on your way. How do I know you won't just shoot me? Uh, I'm not here to shoot you, sir. I mean, you're pointing a gun at me, that's pretty aggressive. <laughs> okay, well like I said, step out of the vehicle, and I'll explain everything to you here in a minute, alright? If you lower the gun, I might step out. I, I just don't trust them, man. They could go off at any second. Okay, I don't have the gun pointed at you, I have the gun pointed at your vehicle. Just in case there's anyone else in the vehicle. You need to understand, this is for my safety. I you're perfectly safe, the vehicle's emptier than me. If you put in your holster... Then this will go a lot smoother. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll pull out my taser. Uh, okay. <laughs> Opens. Do me a favor, step out of the vehicle. Outside handle.
All right, walk backwards oh, to the sound shit. of my voice. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, stop. Face away from me. Oh, these moths have chewed through my clothes again, apparently. Right, right now, you are being detained. Uh, I'll let you know what's going on here, right? Yeah. So, uh, what's that, man? <laughs> so casual about it. You got any weapons, anything like that on you? Oh, no, I'd never carry a weapon. Okay, I'm just gonna pat you down here really quick. So, uh, was I speeding? Alright, so the thing is, is this vehicle's been reported stolen by the owner. Uh, you say that you just purchased this vehicle. How long ago did you purchase this vehicle? Literally a minute or two ago, I saw an advert in the, uh, on, uh, Macebook for it. And the dude was like, meet me at the hotel, give me a thousand bucks and you can have it. I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I get your name? Uh, yeah, sure. It's Wrigley Bullsack. I hear it's who I'm using right now. Sorry for being so hostile, okay. man. I, j I don't trust guns. I know someone who got shot in the eye with one. No. I, I understand it's a scary situation. Uh, you have to understand that I have to, uh, you know, watch out for my safety. Yeah. Uh, do you know the name of the gentleman that you purchased this car from? No, it was in Arabic, the writing on the Facebook account. Like, the name and all. I don't speak okay. Arabic. <laughs> Did you see anything like a vehicle, uh, license plate, anything like that? No, he was wearing a turban. I don't know if that helps. I'm <laughs> just being the most generic person. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, not enough. That's foggy. He had really nice sneakers. They were like, like a sort of yellowy fluorescent color, like a high vis. They stood out quite a bit. They might have been work boots. Okay. Where where did you meet this gentleman to buy to buy the vehicle? No, just up in the motel there. That's where I was staying. My buddy's one of the co-managers, and he said I could have a room for the night for nothing. I'm literally just making this up. <laughs> okay. And all you seen was his shoes. Yeah, he was wearing like a. It was kind of like a turban, but it covered his head and like his entire face as well. He had eye holes and a mouth hole. <laughs> I'm describing a balaclava. <laughs> okay, uh, you see his ethnicity, anything like that? No, he had brown eyes though. Uh, okay, what about an accent or anything like that? Sorry, I was... something distracted me. Um, no, he was just a normal dude with a big face turban on and really shiny reflective shoes. Just like any other person you'd see in the street. He had a jacket and he had like a white zip. I thought it was a stripe, but then thinking back, it was probably a zip. It was right down the front. <laughs> Shit, I've just described myself. Just pass you on 68 then. <laughs> okay, let me, uh, let me fix these cups for you. I appreciate that. I just realized how unlegit it is to have my phone out while I'm in handcuffs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna loosen them up here a little Didn't bit. Didn't even think um, about that. I'm just, you are still being detained though, right? Yeah, okay. Will I get to keep the truck after this? Unfortunately, no. I can give you five bucks for it. Five bucks? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright, so what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you sit in the back of my vehicle here, right? Okay. This car's nice, I wish I had one. Actually, I wish I had a car now. I was an alcoholic before this. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Little does he know, I literally just stole this car. Uh, I know he's going to type something. 
nothing in car recently cleaned keys in ignition and radio set to local talk show just to be even more generic why not nothing in car recently clean keys ignition and radio radio there you go Hey sir, did you put those plates on yourself, or did the gentleman give him you give you the plates? He just sold me the car with the plates on there. I just he was like, "You can have it for a thousand bucks." I haven't touched it since I just drove out along here to go uh, well to to the Yellow Jack, I guess. That alcoholism okay. is slowly killing me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. As long as you're not a criminal, that's fine. No alcoholic anonymous, uh, anom 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 God, that would be nice. I'll be surprised if he doesn't breathalyze me, considering I just admitted to being an alcoholic twice. So my plan is kind of to keep doing this until a sieve buys a car off me. <laughs> I reckon I can get out of this. What I'm thinking is literally just walk down there to the fruit stand and steal that car. <laughs> that would be great. That would be amazing. Actually, <laughs> I wonder how many times I can get away with this. Before he's like, nah, screw this dude, you're the thief. <laughs> Think about it, if every time I claim the same story, oh, my last car was confiscated by the police. Um, from a Miss Mary Thomas actually no just from local um, nothing else of interest <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how many times I'm be like, oh, my last car got stolen, so the same guy sold me this car. <laughs> or maybe a different guy every time. I reckon twice I can get away with it before he's like, you know what, dude, fuck you, you're going to jail. Alright, sir, so I do have some bad news for you. Um, I did run the VIN, and it does come back stolen. Um... At this time, you are being placed under arrest for possession of stolen property. But I didn't um, know it was stolen. I just bought a truck. I, I understand that. That's why you're getting charged with possession of stolen property. You're not getting charged with, you know, actually stealing the vehicle. How am um, I meant to know, you know it's stolen? You, it, that you got to do your research, you know, make sure that the VIN's not stolen, the plate's not stolen. How would I do that? You can call it into your local uh, law enforcement agency. You can, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, contact a dealer or anything like that. Um, you know, go and you can't really trust people these days. I'll tell you what. How's this sound? I'll give the truck to you so you can give it back to whoever as it was. And I'll cut my losses and then I'll just go and find a different car. Come on, I'm just trying to. I don't to think my it's going to quite work out that way. Uh, I understand that, but uh, like I said, you're you're not going to be going anywhere. You're being placed under arrest for possession of stolen vehicle. Oh come on, man! I'm trying to do the right thing. And so at this time, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything Shit. you say can no abuse against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, by you can. Uh, one would be appointed to you by the state. Do you understand your rights? Yeah, I understand. There's no way we can work hey, this out here. For me? Look, there's nothing I can do now to like make this to sort this out. I mean, you got the Thanks car you. back. Uh, you know, the only thing that could 
possibly help you if you're actually able to produce that individual that sold you the vehicle. And even then, uh, I'd be your word against his word. And, you know, you're in possession of the vehicle. So uh, the way that the courts are going to see it is that, you know, you're in possession. But I don't know who that dude is. It was just some dude. Yep, I understand. What if I pay for the truck? You know, I, I'm... That, that's not going to solve anything. So, here's the thing. is you know, I'm not charging with actually stealing the vehicle. Um, because, you know, I can't prove that you stole this vehicle. I'm charging you with possession of it. Yeah, I, I understand that. But, like, charges don't look good on your record. And I'm trying to get a job and turn my life around. And this ain't going to help at all. Yeah. Like, what's an employer th going to think if they see that? Well, you know, here's the thing. If you're able to uh, prove down the line, you know, that some individual stole you, uh, sold you this stolen vehicle, you can always take it to court and get your record expunged. You know, so just because you're getting arrested now doesn't mean that you can't prove your innocence, you know, the later down the road. No, oh, this sucks, dude. Yeah, well, it looks like we got to pulling up here now, so we're going to get this vehicle out of here, and then we'll get you on your way, right? What if I pay for damages, like if anything got damaged, and give it back to the owner, and like, give him a big hug or something? Um, you know, the only thing that we can possibly do is try to contact the owner of the vehicle and see if they refuse to press charges. Um, you know, that's the only thing that I can see that would benefit you. How, how much do you reckon it'll be the fine or like the sentence or whatever? What's that? Like if, if I go to the jail, how, how long do you reckon I'll be in there? Uh, let me look at my law book here really quick. Because I've got to go to church on Sunday. Hold on one second. <laughs> I've got to go to church on Sunday. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a valid excuse. Do you know what I'm saying? The reason I pulled over by you is because I was going to run originally, but I was thought, you know, if I can convince my way out of it, then I'll do that. But I stopped specifically by there, so if I floor it, I can go straight up that dirt path to the prison, ironically, where I'm going to end up anyway. I really thought I could talk my way out of that. And then when he was like, oh, we can talk to the, the owner, it's like... Mmm, that's gonna be tough. I mean, I know I'm a miracle worker, but even I think that would be a stretch, me pulling off as the owner as well. That would just be jank as fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm going to jail. I can't afford to go to jail. And the offer for a hug to the owner didn't really help. Alright, so it's looking like possession of a stolen vehicle is a misdemeanor 2, which carries a one year. Uh, jail term or a fifty thousand dollar fine. I mean, I've got fifty bucks, but that's about it. I mean, if you can knock it down by like a thousand. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't debate that. Do you accept monthly installments? Dollar a month for the rest of eternity. Fifty thousand months. <laughs> <laughs> Not even gonna work out how long that is. Unfortunately, if you cannot post your uh, your bail, you're gonna have to do the jail time. But how am I gonna go to church on Sunday? Um, you know that's that's a pretty tough question there. You can go to church on Sunday a year from now. How about that? I think the Lord will be angry. I mean, I can repent, like, I don't know, punching someone, but not missing a year of church as a whole different level. Well, you know, if you get processed quick enough, I'm pretty sure that they have a chapel inside the jail. I mean, yeah, but the reverend's not as good as my reverend. Yeah, I understand that, but sometimes, you know, you're just going to have to settle. This is like the worst day ever. 
At least I'll be free from alcohol yeah. when I get out. Either that or a depressed manic wreck. I think of how bad wreck. it was for that, that car owner. I mean, that's true. As I said, I didn't know it was stolen. I wouldn't have taken it otherwise. I would have called the police and we could do like a sting operation together in harmony. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, just next time, if you're unsure, give give the police a call. You know, have them the information of the vehicle. I didn't even know they could do you know, that. Now, I thought they charged for that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now you're kind of just learning the hard way. The very hard way. As hard as Big Bubba's going to be in the shower tomorrow. That was probably well, inappropriate. To stay away from that. I'll try my best. <laughs> that was quite inappropriate. God, this D thing's a bit weird today. Alright, sir, go ahead and step out for me. To walk inside here. Do they have a barber in prison? Because my hair's getting pretty long on the top. You know, I'm not too sure about that. I'll borrow someone's shank, it's fine. Alright, do you got your ID in your pocket? Yeah, my name's Wrigley Ballsack. Oh, okay. I, I used to have a record, like from when I was younger. But I like to think I mellowed out a bit and became a raging alcoholic. <laughs> okay, so you didn't really choose a better path then? I mean, I'm trying to get a job. Alright, well, I am going to uh, start my paperwork here on this computer. So I'll be right back with you, right? Okay. Alright. So what I need from you here is I need your uh, your thumbprint down here at the bottom of this document. It's just for identification purposes to uh, let us know that you received this. Okay. Um, as stated earlier, your charge is going to be possession of stolen property uh, vehicle, which is a misdemeanor two, carries a one-year jail time or a fifty thousand dollar fine. Uh, I can stretch to sixty bucks, but. What about a hundred on in two weekly installments? Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to do it. So um, this I, time we are going to elect to do the jail time. I mean, I can skimp on whiskey for a while to pay this off. I, I can give you a hundred bucks now and then the rest later in installments. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. You'll be in and out really quick. It'll be like it's nothing. I mean, that's true, but I'm still going to miss church. And my AA meetings. I understand. So before I send you off, I am going to do a full pat down on you. Is there anything that I didn't find on you earlier that I should know about? Uh, if I don't find it and you get into the jail, it is going to become a felony. No, there's nothing on me. Just my money. All 62 bucks of it. I was going to get a coffee. Well, you know, save that for your canteen. I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm talking in the most mellow voice. To try and sound like I'm just a raging alcoholic. Alright, looks like the bus is here to pick you up. So, uh, you know, I hope you make better decisions. Um, unfortunately, you learned your lesson the hard way this time. This is like the worst day ever. I thought hangovers were bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, there it is, and I'm in jail. Oh well, thank you guys so much for watching. I thought I could talk my way out of that, but apparently I can't. And uh, make sure you come back for the next episode. I will see you then. Peace out, guys.